Can you prove the triangle inequality? It states that if x and y are real numbers, then the absolute value of x plus the absolute value of y is greater than or equal to the absolute value of x plus y. What this is saying in a triangle is if we have three sides, x, y, and z, if we take a look at side z, and then we take a look at the distance from one end of z to the other end of z, it is going to be less than or equal to the distance of x plus the distance of y. In other words, x and y, if we take the longer path, well, it's always going to be longer or equal to. And the case when it's equal to is when it's pretty much a flat line. So how can we prove this? We're going to use the definition of the absolute value. So we say that the absolute value of x is less than or equal to a when x is between negative a and a. So what we want to prove is that the absolute value of x plus y is less than or equal to the absolute value of x plus the absolute value of y. So what we want very specifically using the definition above is negative absolute value of x plus the absolute value of y is less than or equal to, and because we're in the definition here, it's just gonna be x plus y, which is gonna be less than or equal to the absolute value of x plus the absolute value of y. This is what we want. So for our proof, let's start by thinking about x and y on their own. So let's just think about x. Now, what is going to be true about x? Well, I don't want to put the absolute value, but it is going to be less than or equal to the absolute value of x, and it's going to be greater than or equal to the absolute value of x, and take the negative of that. Now, y is going to be the same thing. We're going to replace y in those positions instead of x. So this is y is less than or equal to the absolute value of y, and it's greater than or equal to negative the absolute value of y. So now that we have these two formulas, what we're going to do is we're going to add them together. And we're just going to add them component by component. So on the left side, we're going to get negative absolute value of x minus the absolute value of y, less than or equal to, and we're going to add the middles, which is x plus y, and we're going to add the ends, absolute value of x plus the absolute value of y. Now we just need to factor out a negative one on the left side. We're going to get negative absolute value of x plus the absolute value of y. And then everything else that we have here is going to look exactly like what we wanted above. So we've now found exactly what we're looking for, which means we can make the logical conclusion then that the absolute value of x plus y is less than or equal to the absolute value of x plus the absolute value of y. So that is the proof of the triangle inequality. And hopefully that's not too bad. It's a tricky one at first when you haven't seen it, but after a few tries and a few runs through, it's a difficult one to forget.